Hey everybody, I wish y'all were here. Today is pruning day. And if you're looking for a group or organization, hey Dino, <laughs> we're just getting after it out here. We're pruning. We love mother nature. We need to know how to take care of ourselves by growing our own food, by learning how to love the plants, to better love ourselves. Ooh, got a big old swarm of bees right there behind me. I don't know if you can see that. Holy crap. Boy, they're getting after it. <laughs> they must be mad. Actually, they ain't making no noise at all. Hey, babe, we probably need some smoke. Like bad. Look how bad they got. Oh, gosh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we need some smoke. Smoke, in case you don't know, calms down bees. And we have all of our friends out here that come with us and gather on Sundays so we can... Love, Mother Nature, get in tune with ourselves, develop better friendships, and take care of the things that go into our body. It's pretty dang important. You know, we take a lot of these things for granted. And my wife needs my lighter back so we can take care of the bees. And I say be healthy. I have one vice. Well, I probably have a lot more than that, but I love cigars. Dean, can you hand that to Jill, please? Now, if you want to be a part of our group and come out and love Mother Nature and know and understand the divine blueprint of life, then this is the place to come. Because we, all together collectively, including Miss Bonnie, take care of the land. Because what else do we have? This is where our food comes from. This is how we feed our bodily temple. This is how we live. And if we don't take care of ourselves and take care of our friendships and take care of our connection to the infinite, and especially the things that go into our body, we are doomed. There's so many things that are super bad for us in this world and just try to eliminate as many of them as you can. And one of the ways to do that is to know your food. Know how to love your food. If y'all don't know, there's a great dog, a bunch of great doctors that have done studies on talking to plants and how that increases your health. We have done that here and it's fantastic. Well, I just wanted to share this with y'all. We got a nice group. These are our Sunday people that come out. Don't feel threatened. I know a lot of people feel like, oh, I don't want to meet new people. But you know, you can meet this guy, you meet him. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly. It's great. You got Wayne over there. Wayne. See, say hi, Wayne. What's up, buddy? <laughs> See, it's just... what we all need good friends. That's it, guys. Yeah. yeah well, I think I'm gonna introduce y'all to some of these people if y'all are considering coming down, so you don't yeah, feel like you'll best, you'll be alone when you come. Andrew, What's just up? on the spot, tell me why you come out here. I come out here because it helps me to be a better person and knowing maybe we can feed one person and accomplish mission. What a great day, peaceful place, a lot of serenity. So I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Come you're, on out. You're awesome, Andrew. Randall, why do you come out here, sir? Man, because I believe in the things you offer to people out here and it helps me get out of my own head. Man, fantastic. Thank you, Randall. No problem. Chuck, why you, why bees are swarming around joy, your head? Bro. Because of this stuff like this, I can stand here and enjoy the nature of everything. I got a good friend, a lot of good folks out here, and y'all share. You're awesome, Chuck. I like to come out here, just getting in touch with nature, you know, just being, uh, producing, you know, putting in a little work, you know. Not only is it, you know, it's harvest season, right? But in order to get the harvest, you got to, you know, plant the seed. Prune, do a little pruning, you know, sweat a little bit. Yeah, you got to do it. Yeah. How about uh, on the regular Sundays? How do you like, does that help at all? Oh, yeah, you? for sure, man. You you know, your words of encouragement, they empower me, make me feel like, you know, you know, I'm just on a mission now, you know, like could be a better version of myself, you know. It's like you inspire me to try harder, you know. Man, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you, Wayne. Sure, Kevin. Nick, uh, you're new. You, this is the, your second uh, time here. Thanks for talking. The, the, pe the serenity, the peace, and... and listening to you and um i don't know it's like a god spiritual thing heck yeah thank yeah. you man thanks all right man. man rick 
How you doing, sir? I'll take this off camera if you don't want me to, but can I can I ask you to tell me why y'all started y'all moved to Chicago to come here and have you liked it for the past six weeks or how long have you been here? Uh about yeah, about six weeks now. Um why we moved from Chicago? Um, I mean it's beautiful. It's beautiful here as you can see, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but why, why did you start coming here? Uh well because of the mystics of Tef mystics of Texas. Um we love, you know, what you guys do here. Um the, the family like you know vibe here is, is beautiful so has the spiritual um, growth been helpful to you most definitely uh it's, like i said it's relaxing here you know what i mean all the people here are nice friendly you know what i mean so it's it's like family man that's know? awesome thank you rick no problem prince is running away <laughs> she's afraid of the camera will you tell me why you like coming here please i like coming here because this is my happy time my peaceful time um I like to be around everyone. We all feel like family and uh, yeah. Yeah, it, has, has the uh, spiritual messages been helpful to you since you've been watching us and then started coming in person? Yes, definitely. I feel like uh, I'm being more like, I guess, uh, like I'm just, you know, being more aware of my thoughts and everything and I'm just studying and learning more of, you know, with Kevin and everyone here. So it's definitely helping me, definitely. Thank you so much. You see, look how good you did. <laughs> come in and tell me why you like coming out here all the time. <laughs> because I have very good friends here, and it's a heck of a lot better than sitting on the couch. <laughs> and you get in sunshine, and you feel healthier. And uh, the friendship here is amazing. So, How I'm, about uh, the messages on Sunday? Have they resonated with you at all? Oh, very much. Every week. Every week. Even though I know some of the stuff. I always learn something new here, and uh, it's amazing, and I'm going to always be here. Thank you so until much, Until I die, anyway. You're awesome, Steve. <laughs> Ricky, tell me why you like coming to the Mystics of Texas every Sunday. Because I love you, and I love being around everybody, and it helps me so much. I love Lucy. I love Alberto. Hey, Lucy. I just love being out there. <laughs> Thanks, Ricky. I haven't missed a Sunday in over a year now, so that, I must love it. That's true. The illustrious Umberto from Guatemala. Umberto, why do you like coming all the way here to spend months at a time at the Mystics of Texas? It helps me on my personal growth, on my spiritual growth, and I'm happy here. Yeah, thanks, Umberto. You're welcome. Yeah. Hey, baby, everybody. Hey. This is my wife. I already know why you come here. You're married to me. <laughs> but I'm so proud of you, and I love watching your vision come to fruition. Uh, well, if you weren't married to me, would you still like uh, everything we talk about on Sundays and oh, all the spiritual growth? Absolutely. Yeah, you're awesome. Yeah, it's made a difference in my life. Thanks. You made a difference in my life. <laughs> Dean, tell me why you love to come here every Sunday. I love the camaraderie out here and the education that you could not and will not get anywhere else that I know of. How about, have the spiritual messages been impactful? Absolutely, absolutely. I've gotten more in touch with the earth and my surroundings since I've been here. Um, and my spiritual clarity is uh, is improving. That's awesome. Still working on it. Heck yeah, we all are. Love you, man. Love y'all. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Bonnie, will you tell me why you like to come out here? Now, ask me a question and get me, like, something... <laughs> complicated like that and then get me no time to figure it what, out what do you why do you like coming out well uh the people the other people is like a big reason and we always have the most uh wonderful food that's true and and then there's the getting to spend time at this beautiful place okay but the first reason that i started coming out here was because I, I learn things. I learn things about myself. I learn things that I can incorporate into my life. Like I didn't meditate before I came here. I didn't know how to meditate, you know? And that helps me be a better person. And you're it awesome. encourages me to be a better person. And I love you. I'm so glad you're I here. I love you too. Albert, this is your second time here. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy the first presentation? And are you glad you came back? Yes, I enjoyed the first presentation, and I am glad I came back. And it touched base on lots of the theories and, and things that my grandmother taught us about growing up. So yeah, it was it was a relief to get that you know knowledge revamped. Are you gonna be coming back? Yeah, I'm gonna be coming back. Damn right. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Albert. All right.
Well, we just wrapped up a few minutes ago, just packed everything, all the chairs and all the people and all the hugs and smiles. And it was just wonderful. And if y'all want to come enjoy us, enjoy this and the fellowship and the meditation, by the time this comes out, it will be the weekend past the 8th and because today is april 7th and next weekend so when you see this you got a few hours to make up your mind if you want to come is spiritual yoga so when you're watching this right now later on today at 1 15 go to the mystics of and at 1 15 we're gonna have spiritual yoga with a wonderful instructor we're super excited about it and uh i hope y'all can make it and let's do our part by working on ourselves, by making deep, strong friendships with others, developing ourselves so that we can ultimately connect to nature, connect with the infinite energies of the universe and the inner infinite intelligence and, and pray and meditate in ways that help benefit ourselves and all of humanity and help shrinking, shrinking, or too shrinking, <laughs> all the divides amongst us, which are many. And, uh, really doesn't need to be. Thanks. See you next time.